Christ. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, and the uh, approval of the minutes from the 2000, November 26, 2018 meeting. Motion to approve and suspend the meeting. Okay, we have a motion by Wolf. Second. And second by Stern. Discussion? All in favor of the minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry, thank you. Right. Approval of the agenda. Any changes, additions, corrections? If there are none, I'll take a motion. It's approved. So moved. Okay, motion by Pillar. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion? All in favor of the approving the agenda say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. 5A. MDU agreement. Okay, everybody has a copy of, of the agreement from MDU. Any do you have any comments or questions? Pat, did you look at that at all? See anything on there? Well, I, I just checked with Monty to see if they actually included the amended agreement. They said there was no amended agreement. All they said was this spreadsheet on that. But in his letter, he says the amended agreement is provided with the South Address envelope. So I didn't, I didn't find any agreement. The amendment is from the original agreement from. I don't know how many. Oh, um, the amended is ago. just alluding to the fact with the new LED technology, the rates are changing and they're dropping and all that oh. kind of stuff. So that's the amended. So what you have there is that is the amended. The new well, document, the new rates. That, with so the new rates. Better the new rates. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, so that's it. Yeah. I mean, I, I assume it doesn't, it must be within you know, franchise uh, limitations. I don't know. Okay. Well, the result, the results are I don't know, reduced reduction. Reduced costs. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing. Yeah, and initially it said we would save five thousand dollars a month for that was annual because we don't have to pay five thousand dollars a month right now. That's good. I've tried to convince him not to spend any more money on that. Correct, but it wasn't buying it. Now I know there there had been some discussions about possible options for for Main Street, but that's kind of disappeared that, off the. That'd be over and above this. Okay. What they what they have here now is what they provide, and if you want a better we than just that, it's, it's an agreement or something for be, that. Be our own. Okay. Be our own, and they'd have to approve the specs and make sure that this will handle all of our overhead and everything else. So. I would make I would make a motion to accept their their new offering that results in a five thousand three hundred thirty two dollar annual reduction in energy costs to the city. Okay, thank estimated. you. Estimated, yeah. not guaranteed. Yeah. I will second. Motion by Pillar, second by Wolf. Discussion. Discussion. And this is like all the lights in town. Everything that they're responsible for. Well, MDU. MDU is responsible right. for, yes. So was there was there like different kinds of I guess poles that were on a different <coughs> uh, different I guess like rental like rate? Or yeah. There was some of the actually some of the rental rates went up. And a portion of them went down, but the biggest savings is just going to be in the electricity itself. Okay. Yeah. Most most of those are just going to be head changes on yeah. on existing poles. Yeah. If we any pole changes would be at our discretion and at our expense. Okay. They're not going to change any poles as part of the project. Okay. 
Did, did they explain why if the kilowatt hours are dropping by 67 percent, the price is only dropping by 16 percent? Because the rent, the different rental for the poles. There's different rental oh, rates for so poles, poles with overhead different. lines. Okay. Yeah. It's, Any more discussion? <coughs> Roll call. Keller. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Stern. Aye. Obenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Is Buster going to be here? No, he's not. No. Okay. Um, Shannon, that's right. So, okay. No request to citizens. Nothing under seven. 8A, Renaissance Zone Term Extension. Yeah, you know that, Jen? Come on up, or? <laughs> I don't have much to say. Um, he just wanted me to present it because this is the final step for it to be approved. Um, the school, the county, everybody's agreed to it. Um, we had the meeting the other night, oh, open public meeting, and there wasn't anybody to say they didn't want it. So it's everybody seems really, they're willing to do the extra five years. So it's just up to you guys to decide if you're going to allow it. So we'll do it. It's a good program. Raises the value of the properties in town. Shannon, give us a, the, the figure real quick on what the, what, do you have that, that we had the other night at that meeting? We did buy. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's like what are you thinking of what, how much? The tax, tax valuation was so far it's over a million. 1.7 million was yeah. that what it was, or around 1.5. 1.5, yeah, tax revaluation, yeah, yeah. 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 of all the money. <laughs> yeah, it's been yeah, 15 years so far. So. Yeah. Okay, so we would need a uh, motion if, if we want to continue this project, a motion to move forward, if not, and discuss issues why. I was the only one there, and I was. <laughs> I spoke in favor of it, but it's kind of weird sitting over there. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you look kind of funny sitting by myself. <laughs> yeah. I will make the motion to approve. Okay, motion by Wolf to approve the Renaissance Zone term extension. I'll second that. I'll second that. <clears throat> discussion. Casey. You know, I think it's a great program. You know, but I mean, in the past, I think it's been abused here, so I don't think it's for, you know, I mean, someone wants to build a brand new home, you know, and they get, get, get this uh, five years tax free. And then on the people that are, that are going to block away, because they don't get anything, you know. Plus, we got a business in town, you know, I mean, after I mean, this. You know, I guess, uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, I guess other five years is up and they change their name or they leave you. And it's not five years tax free either. It's, it's, a, it's a graded scale. Wow. So the first, the first year is free, right? Mm -hmm. or it's, okay. It all depends on what the board approves as far as the next yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. In the past, you have the whole, the whole, the whole Full, full five years of the full five years. Yeah. And it, it, isn't it only tax free on the improvement that you made? It's not like total. Right. Like if you use it, yep. if a business used it and did a, a, a revalue of their place yeah. and they added $60,000 in value, <clears> they didn't have to pay tax on that $60,000 value. No, we, we, we just have to remember that the program's all funds right. and that's, uh, that's rejuvenating certain sections of the town that are recognized within this renaissance zone so anybody if there's a lot for sale has opportunity to buy a lot there and take advantage of the program that's available to that that particular location and if it happens to be building a house versus a business it's part of that renaissance zone and it's, if they it's kind of the, of the, the property yeah then our little bit more taxable taxes <coughs> that's kind of where we're, our benefit that will get more tax money off. And I'm sure, After it, the and I'm sure it is tough if you're one block off of the Renaissance sure. and you see them getting a tax break and you're not getting one. 
it, it, yeah, it, I'm sure it is tough, but it's but it's like anything in yeah. life. There's there's a line somewhere. <laughs> yeah. No discussion. Roll call. Wolf. Aye. Teller. Aye. Stern. No. Obenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. All right. Let's go down to reports. Water sewer. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay. Jason and Dave are not here. But do you know we uh, we do want to bring up that the erosion bridge. issue. Yeah. So in your packets you have <coughs> photos of the the bridge north of Sorrow and the erosion. What corner is this? Do you know? This is on the southwest corner. This is southwest. Okay. It's the base of the aprons leading up to the bridge. It's not mm -hmm. under the bridge itself. Okay. So this was inspected by the state in 15, 2015, but not deemed. There was wasn't a, probably wasn't as much erosion. No. And, and so this is this is zooming in on that gap that was yeah. in the first picture. Right. Okay. Good. And Tim and said I that I couldn't figure it out. Put a tape measure in there. And <coughs> help. They couldn't tell how far back we were in twenty-two feet and, and hadn't run into anything. Well, if that thing didn't break the summer with all that asphalt traffic, then it would be pretty damn lucky. <laughs> so the recommendation is to put some fill underneath there, some drainable fill. Does that mean gravel? Actually, they're talking of pumping the flowable fill in uh, from Josh Reiner, more engineering. Potential ways to address this issue would be to use a flowable fill or removal of the concrete and placing base material and patching the concrete back in. The flowable fill will be most economical, but will only be a patch. Eventually there will have to be more extensive work done to remove those sections, re redo the base, make sure everything's good, pack it decently, and then put concrete back in and pin it back to the bridge deck. So when he, he says it's just a patch, it's going to solidify under there, but then it's just going to erode below what, what they put in there? Possibility. It could be a couple of years before you would have to do anything. But what, what have they suggested caused the erosion 22 feet underneath of that slab there? That they didn't have any real suggestion as to why that was going so far, except that it does drain from both sides. When water comes over the top, it does drain both directions. So if it is getting under, it might be just enough slope that it keeps going hmm. farther away or enough slope that it keeps taking more out. Hmm. It's, it's just bizarre. Pride Contracting did give us an estimate for the flowable fill. He had estimated it would take three trucks of flowable fill to do both the north and the south side because there is some erosion under the north side as well. So when we say a flowable fill, it's just mud? It's, it's got some concrete to it, so it will set up okay. and hold that in place so it doesn't fall. I know the engineer had said, well, it'll only fall and you'll have about an 8-inch difference in height there, so it won't really do any damage, but if you're the one that hits the thing, First, with your little car, it will do some damage if it falls. Can we put spray foam in there? Is there a new spray foam product, or what's that product that? You go watch infomercials and see. It's 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 like a quick crete, and you and it expands with, with. Have you seen that at all? It's, looks really cool product. Six thousand dollars seems like a lot, a lot of money for that for for a, for a band aid. But you said not to exceed six thousand, and more more in line of a couple thousand. Yeah, yeah right. right. So, <laughs> so, so why would you? Why would you give us a not to exceed three thousand? Once he cuts the eighteen inch squares out, and then you see something different that may the flowable fill may not address it. So he's going to do flowable fill from on top. Yes. They'll cut. Four squares out, two on the north side, two on the south side. Mm -hmm. 
about a foot to 18 inches square and then put the flowable fill in and just fill it up with that to the top and then eventually that will all have to be replaced when the concrete approach is replaced or addressed. This image right here where the concrete meets on the left side it's a little deceiving because that is a curb so it's a, quite a bit higher and that's where water so you drive where there's a puddle there all the time so it's, and then I'm not sure you know if that needs to have a better drain there to go down the hill and then if that's the case do we need a little valley gutter going down the hill or concrete probably have to rip wrap it somewhere mm -hmm. and, are, and are we going to if we approve the cost of this are we going to pursue with the with the county? Yeah, you are. Like joint joint venture in terms of paying for it. Okay. I, I think we need to. It's, yeah. And we don't. I think we don't do it until we go to the county first. Right. If we do it. It's already done. Okay. Tim was hoping to start tomorrow. Oh, well, geez. the weather's nice. But I guess as far as the county paying for it. Because when we redid the road, I mean, the county did help us yeah. pay for anything, so it'll help the bridge. Yeah, as far as I know, that's all ours within city limits is the oh. road. Yeah. Is the road mm -hmm. and bridge for that matter. And that's why they suggested getting it re inspected as quickly <coughs> as possible to see what federal funding would be available to fix it permanently. So what we would be approving today would just be a city expense for a gap fix. Yeah. And the engineers recommended that the floor will this sooner than later. Because yeah. I'm I'm with Jerry from the standpoint of well, the traffic it got and we don't see any crackage or anything like that. Are, are we hurting ourselves to, to pursue an inspection and seek out funding and stuff like that and then go after just the permanent fix and do it one time? I'm not, I'm not a road engineer, but uh, yeah. you know when they, when they talk to us, did, did they suggest that at all or, or did they make it some? <laughs> This year, I would I would say addressing this sooner than later would definitely be advisable. Potential ways to address this issue would be to use a global fill. Hmm. And like the engineer told me when when I talked to him on the phone, it may fix it for two or three years, but if it keeps eroding, you are going to have to address it, and eventually it will have to be addressed no matter what. Well, if he's cutting out areas, wouldn't we better just put concrete in there instead of a, a, a fill, something that's going to be heavier and it's going to be a lot more expensive than concrete versus flow of oak fill. Especially if you're talking three semi holes or three cement truck holes. I just wonder how long it's been like that. Doesn't seem like there's that much room underneath there, does it? <laughs> it's so yeah, how many decks? It's just about 10 inches, I thought Dave said the other day when he was in. But I guess I would like to see it fixed, even if it's a temporary fix, rather than seeing somebody hit it with their car, mm -hmm. and then we're liable for a whole lot more if somebody gets hurt. I mean, because we know it's there. Yeah, and do you want your vehicle to be the one to go through it? <laughs> I don't. I agree. Shannon? Since it's a road repair, can you do it the good way and add it to the assistance? I'm trying to this part of the street project, even though it's not part of the street project, though, because it wasn't part of it. engineered or bid or any of that. But if they would tear it all up and fix it the right way, you'd have to get engineers involved and stuff. Good question. Struggle with it doing it twice type thing. 
I know if you're going to do any adequate engineering as to what the final solution is, it's going to take some time. Well, I'm hoping that it's not that much. You're only going to need one truck full, so maybe we'll be a little cheaper to do it. <coughs> Dave only found it when he was inspecting or looking over there. And then he ends up looking at the box cover. I mean, frankly, it, it, it could have been like that for two years. It's hard to say. Yeah. I mean, I would think that I mean, that I mean, in order to do it right, I mean, it's going to be a pretty, pretty extensive job, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you look, I guess, like north of that, I mean, I mean, I've kind of noticed over the, over the years that, you know, that I mean, our dip is getting yeah, more and more. more of a dip. It is getting yeah. more dip here, right? So, I mean, I'm going to say there's going to be major, all kinds of work on that side, too. So, I mean, I mean, I think if we were just to, I guess, like, patch it for now and maybe hope it gets better, or, or, or not gets better, but I mean, I mean, I mean, like, last for, you know, I mean, Mm -hmm. Like five more years ago, that'd be great or something. But It'd be nice to stretch it out before anybody gets hit for more money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so if we want to do something, we need to take some action, formal action. Move to have a uh, pride. Uh, do the work um, no more than no more than that. No more than a, a six thousand dollar. Get motion by Stern. I'll second it. Second by Pillar. Discussion. Roll call. Stern. Aye. Keller. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Holdenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Tilt him. I really would like to see the 2000 versus 6. <laughs> oh, I just don't see us dumping three three loads of trucks in there, but whatever. Yeah. Then both, depends, some, both sides. Who knows? You cut that hole in there, what you find? You might yeah. find your path to China. <laughs> Finance busing? Nothing at this time. Police, fire? Yeah, from the uh, fire department, end of the year blowout sale on FLIR cameras. A FLIR camera is uh, infrared scans for looking for hot spots. And we have an opportunity with our fire department to take a, a old piece of obsolete equipment and get $1,500 worth of value towards the purchase of a replacement. And so that those cameras with a charger cost just under $7,000, uh, but then we get the trade-in value on that. So uh, right now we've got $7,200 remaining in our budget out there, and we're looking, I'm making a motion that we extend $6,175 towards the purchase of the FLIR camera, a vehicle charger for it, and then a, a couple of miscellaneous pieces of equipment that go on one of our trucks. Did you get all that? Yeah. I'll second. Motion by Pillar, second by Wolf. Discussion. So that that's overall cost. Or the, are they asking for some help from the rural on that? No. First, um, maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't, but there's a conveyor belt out the asphalt area. They're going to start crushing I think, next week. So they're, they've got that and a big payload out there to start moving the product around. So, so 
good to see that getting taken care of. And secondly, um, if you've driven around town and you're looking at houses, you're going to see some yellow auction signs around the community. Uh, there's the properties that are up here on, on the wall right now. Um, there are, these are properties that have been rentals in our community. And um, that green and tan one is right directly north of my house on Fifth Street. But I think we, I would really like to take a good hard look at possibly improving our community and cleaning some areas up in our community by us possibly purchasing these or some of these um, and get them yeah. demoed. For instance, that white one right there, that one is right next to one that's up further. Demo those two, you have a nice, you now have a nice lot in a neighborhood that can have a home put on it eventually someday. It might not be in the next one, two, three years, but um, <clears throat> I, I want to be as graceful as possible by saying that some of these properties have had people in them that don't respect our community very much and have left things in the shambles. And Dan, please be kind when you write this game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that these are total, well, I think we could really clean some things up. And I think we have an opportunity to do something at a pretty good price. Um, I do know that there are some of these that are being negotiated on now by private people. Um, and what does not get purchased privately will be going up for auction. I would hate to see them continue as the same type of property as they are now. God. Is, are they going to have a base uh, base bid on them? They are not no. going to have reserve either. What they go, they're going to okay. they sell what they sell for. Because my, my thing is, because there's one over by me too, and, and I'm, you know, it's it should be torn down. But you know, what if the neighbor decides he wants to buy it and is hoping to get it for cheap and tear it down and expand his yard? Are we gonna kind of watch to make sure that you're, if we do this, that you're not no. bidding against someone who's going to want to get it for the cheapest price and tear it down themselves? You know? You know how that goes. Yeah. You know, what if, your what if the neighbor beside that neighbor wants it for a, a, a rental. slum rental? Yeah. But I mean, how much money are we, we willing know. to spend up? <laughs> You're right. I have no yeah. idea. Shannon, what do you <coughs> I've got two of them right now. That I'm, one person, a neighbor, already bought one, and she's going to tear it down and be yeah. our house later. And another one, they're going to convert it into a garage. So they're already improving those two properties right. just by what they're doing. Um, those two twin homes over by Steve's over there, like Jerry said, that's a great idea because the lots are small otherwise. And then, yeah, that one over by you, too. I mean, that's. That one needs to be torn down. That yeah. one right there. No. Yeah. I mean, the values that we have on them are really I think that one's being <laughs> dealt, uh, dealt with right now, too. But that top one? The, that one right there. The ten, the, yeah, uh, that one right there is the one that I think they're entering into a garage. Okay. okay. That's what they're talking about, I think. Yeah. The next one down is being dealt with, I think, too. Um, I. What kind of taxable value are we looking at those right now? You got that on your Those list? duplex ones, those are up to like seventy some thousand dollars. The other ones taxable evaluation. Which taxable value. That's just the property, not the house. The smallest value is that one by you, that one's valued at twenty one thousand. Uh, that yellow one there. That was just that that's, right here. That that's at forty six thousand yeah. right now. That's the taxable value on that one. That one's a basin flooded. There's a two thousand dollar lien against it because they didn't pay. That was those people when they flooded, oh, yeah. and yeah. since they didn't own it, they didn't care, and they let it go on the specials, and now it's stuck with the house. It's almost a buy that kind of conversation. It's an option. There's liens on all of them, not a big one, but that's the worst one. 
I mean, I guess what kind of dollar value? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, not that you have to say, but I mean, right. I mean, if we're gonna purchase these, we would then have to, then there's gonna be some kind of cost, cost to them yeah. to tear them down, yeah. and yeah, and tearing them down would be obviously a job that our guys can, our guys could do it to tear it down. Mm -hmm. I did talk to Tim Schwartz about the one that I near me, and he said that if he did it, it's to Tear out the concrete in the basement, tear it out, haul it to the landfill, backfill it all in between three and five thousand dollars. Could we do controlled burns and let the fire department play? <laughs> I that's it's they, not a bad idea. They, they blow up buildings right in the middle of the cities and drop them straight down. Exactly. So. Yeah. True. In case you have no idea, I and I, I know. It, all I, I know that some of the values on these, there's no way they're worth that. No. And the way our housing market is right now, with 50 houses for sale in Hazen, I think I think he'd be willing to deal with selling them outright before an auction because they're probably the auction is going to result in slim to nothing. You never you never know. But and even other guys that own houses in town that they rent out, they're not. I mean, they're trying to dump their properties too, so yeah. they're not going to want. Well, so you want to approach the owner and offer before the auction? Possibly, if if he's willing, since he's since he's willing to sell some other properties, maybe he's willing to do that with with some others too. I think as a city, if we're going to go on that adventure, we're better off pursuing it at the auction. That's what I'm thinking. Than, okay. than dealing ahead of time. I would think. That's what I'm thinking. Because that house by me, no if it's value at 20, I wouldn't give them five for right. it. You know, an auction, you might get it for a thousand because nobody's going to want it unless one of the neighbors. People know right. what kind of houses they are. So yeah. I think the only reason anybody would want it was to get carried down and put something else there. Right. I When I called the glass auction company, they're on the Hebrew, and they said that there will be final sales and there will be no reserve on the <coughs> properties. Okay. <laughs> and I think that's Monty was it December seventeenth? Fourteenth. December fourteenth. Yeah. You know, because let's just say that we were to purchase these and um, you know tear them down, advertise them as a lot, you know, for like five thousand dollars and maybe lose mm -hmm. maybe lose Ten grand, you know, a lot or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'd be willing to lose some money to <coughs> clean them up and make them viable and and to improve our neighborhoods if we could. But I, you're right, could be a could be a money loser <laughs> for for us. Sure. Um, but if they're used, they're well, maybe a longer term gain. I, I, yeah. And if we tore them down, you know, look at how many we have no lots available for sale anymore. Those lots can be worth a heck of a lot more vacant. Yeah. Or someone could yeah. have something new. So we'd be able to sell them for a higher price. My fear of going to an way. auction and being where in the city of Hazen had an auction is that someone's going to try to drive you up and drive up the price. And then they're going to see somewhere the deeper pocket that really wants them. And then where do you decide? Where do you where do you stop? Kind of like when we were trying to get that land that Steve Hansen has now, Northside of Elk. Where do you, where do you stop? It's, I guess we just say there's no way we'd pay more than X amount, and then at least we try to do something. But I mean, that's what I would do: go to the auction and have an, a, an, a number in your mind, and and but I couldn't see going ahead of time because they're not going to accept a, a low ball offer. You know what I mean? We're in an auction. I think once it's advertised and the bills are out, they're not allowed to sell them. Yeah. At the for the auction. Yeah. And I, yeah. yeah the, the fact of the matter is, if you don't get it, you're not off. You're right. not out any worse than what you were before the auction sale happened. So I think if we just set a cap or something for each of the properties. And, and I think if you look at the land boards that we have in our community right now, they are more into the improvement part of, of their properties. They don't, they're not into these older homes that are falling apart and trying to rent them. 
I mean, they're, they're, I've seen a lot of improvement in a lot of the rentals. Yeah. So. Yeah, so if they're not going to sell, let's say that, let's say that uh, no one, nobody uh, like wants these. So is that owner then just going to say, heck with it, just going to go back on it? Pretty behind on just taxes. On taxes, yeah. so he keeps okay. it just fairly okay. So then we have another opportunity if they went back for taxes. Pat, is there any? If we did go to the auction, is there anything that we'd have to? Do we have any limits that we'd have to deal with, or? Same ones you did for the basic property. Okay. Okay. I mean, you have the power to acquire properties in particular for renewal, urban renewal, and improvements, that type of thing. In fact, there used to be community block grant money available for that specific purpose. Yeah. Acquiring properties like this. <clears throat> So do we need to move on this, or are you just going to? I'm just going to move my calendar to the 14th. <laughs> Let's see. If... I am not going to be around on the 14th. No. You're neither. <laughs> okay. I, I am around on the 14th, and I wouldn't want to do it by myself. <clears throat> I'd want to have someone else. If you're around KC or anybody else, we can't have three people there, correct? <laughs> Call a special meeting. Okay. <laughs> That's an auction. Yeah. I think two would be enough. If you could get two of us. Yeah. And I, yeah, I'm not going to be. Yeah. You want a vacation again? No, we have a Christmas party that day. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice Trevor. I have a daughter graduating from college. Okay. You might want to be there for that, Dan. Probably. <laughs> Are you around KC at all? Or? I was planning on going to this. Oh, wait. Okay. But if these are the only ones that are now on the field, I don't think I'm interested in more. So, so, so I can be around. Okay. So I think, so what I'm hearing is that we're all kind of on the same page. I would probably be a good thing for a community. To attend this and hopefully clean things up a little bit. It'd be a, probably a long project for our guys, but you know, it's not like we have a timeline to get things turned turn down and cleaned up. Yeah. I think if Shannon can get some numbers together, what the values are. Right, the land value. Yeah. That's really the only thing that you guys have going for you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, with those gone, you could sell those lots. Someone will want to put a garage on there or all kinds of stuff, and then you have something with real value there instead yeah. of bad stuff. Like this property here at the bottom <coughs> of the screen. Our guys have mowed that four times last summer. You know, the city has. You know, it's, it, they don't keep them, they don't care. Yeah. <clears throat> well, at the minimum, you may want to come up with a, a formula for the limitation, like land value up to a thousand dollars higher or whatever. Okay. You know, something so you do set some limits as to yeah. Okay. What you're allowed to land value. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Whatever. Because you know you're going to have those additional expenses of unpaid taxes and specials that you'll have to absorb. And Tearing down. All the public's going to be paying those. So. Mm -hmm. The city buys it. Does the city get a break on taxes? We don't pay property taxes, but we pay the specials. Oh, the specials we would be able to get. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to. Do this if you kind of need a motion to set a set a, a limit at property value plus.
plus 10% or something thereabouts. I don't know. Or else a dollar value of the whole sale. I'm just curious where at, what kind of funds you got for something like this or how much or where where would these where would this money sales come tax from money here? So realistically we could get by <clears> using <throat> some of the sales tax because in the long run it will be a benefit to the city and will reduce the property taxes for for everybody else. I mean in short term it's not going to be a benefit to anybody but the long run <coughs> Data we do have very limited funds set aside for purchasing of property. Uh, just in the general fund, I want to say it's only about eight thousand dollars in there. So mm -hmm. like, no matter what you come end up using your sales tax. Mm -hmm. So right now, how many properties are going to be for sale? Because you said two of them. Well, there's nine or less. Six of them. In Hazen, yeah, three right. of them are so exactly four of them. Work. Yeah, but like I said, I don't think he can sell those two now that they're on the bill. Oh, so I think he's still going to have to sell. That's that's the way I always understood it. And I, I can't remember how much the land is. I think seven something maybe. I'm just I didn't need to look at that. We'll go down just slowly, Mike. So okay. that one's that one's in town. That one's in Hazen. The next one that's two. That, that one I three. think someone that's else is dealing with. That one's over here. Yellow three. one would be three. That's over three. by Hungary. Which one's by Tom Beery? Uh, that's over by Hungary. Mm, that's by the one by you. The one by you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. 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 Okay. It's a Christian house. <laughs> and then the last one down here is yeah, the one by Mars. So in reality, those two duplexes are in the Renaissance zone. So someone could buy those lots and build a brand new house in there. And then they'd be part of the Renaissance zone. <coughs> are people living in any of them at this point? Or are they all vacant? That one's somewhere living in the one by Tom Berry. Um, not in this. That one. yellow one's empty. That one's yeah. empty. That, that one's empty. empty. That, that one's, one's in empty. There. there might be someone living in one of those duplexes. I thought I saw lights on there. Maybe. The, the one in parcel two. Yeah. But oh, that one's that one's not there. the next one. Oh, and then there's oh that one's not on there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, another one. Why don't you go down again? Okay. This one here. That's empty. I don't. I, is there nobody living there? No. No. There isn't anybody there for about a year now. Is that right on Fifth? Yeah, yeah. right beside me. Oh, okay. They're right in north, north, north of the street to that one. Okay. Some bears on one side. With with so on. So that one's somewhere. Yeah. I think this option's here at City Hall. Is there a time on there somewhere? One o'clock. Yeah. It's the same one o'clock. <clears throat> okay. 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 I'm willing to spend uh, no more than $60,000. Okay, motion by Stern. Second. Second by Wolf. Discussion. And you're talking 60 for whatever Total. all across the board? Yeah. I hate even putting that in the paper. <laughs> yeah. You know, now there it says owner reserves the right to reject any and all bids. That's not what when I called the auction committee they said to me, but so if we have if they read the paper that we're willing to spend sixty thousand dollars, is that are we for, stubbing our toe? For for citywide beautification. 
Dan will put a good twist on it. He knows what the intention yeah, is. Yeah, I know Dan does, but it's... City Commission Flaw. But... <laughs> I get but, then, but Dan... Dan knows how to write that up so where, where it doesn't sound I'm not, I'm not worried about Dan. I'm worried about no, I know, but something else. I don't think you're going to get people bidding against you just to raise you because then they might get stuck with it. Yeah. And then they got to come up with the money. I mean, you have to come up with the money that day, basically. Or 10% down, I think it says. Non-refundable. That's usually what it is. Nope. No. Hundred percent non-refundable. Bank will check and letter of credit fund. Okay. Yeah. Dave City. We have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Any more discussion? Roll we'll call. Stern. Aye. Wool. Aye. Hiller. Aye. Bolinella. Aye. Motion carried. All right. We can't sell nice houses in Great Mills. <laughs> okay. We have a date. 10A CWSRF questionnaire. This is kind of like the one we did earlier this fall for the drinking water revolving fund. This is for the clean water revolving fund. Just puts us on the list that there is a potential for a project. And this goes back to the sewer capacity study that was done way back in 2012 by Altec relating to replacement of some sewer lines that are in need of it in different areas of town. Total cost of the project is estimated at 1.074 million. And again, this is just to get us on the list so funding is available. Because I mean we have to get yeah, kind of like the water so if the parade on legislation passed and we would be receiving eight hundred thousand dollars over the next two over the next biennium and then for the the same amount about the biennials after that, could we use that money in conjunction with this, yes. do you think? No, so this is just a loan, so right. So Yeah. Okay. Just get on the list for cheap money. Absolutely. So we don't need to take any action. Yeah, we we'll need a motion so I can sign it and send it. Okay. Right. So moved. Okay. Motion by Pillar. Second. Second by Wolf. Discussion. Roll call. Pillar. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Stern. Aye. Ovenor. Aye. Motion carried. Have any water rates discussion? Casey, you want to lead that or Monty or? Well, I gave you some information. Uh, I'm still waiting to hear back from the U.S. <coughs> Assistance Program. You know, we had originally talked about raising the base rate and then just indexing our rate to like a dollar fifty higher than what we're charged. I'm waiting to hear back from Midwest Assistance if that's a good number, too high, too low, to make sure that we're always complying with those revolving loan funds. So. Again, I put it on there just for a little discussion. I was hoping to have a response today, but unfortunately, I don't. So, would do you think we'd be safe at, if we had an automatic calculator? Every time they raise theirs, we stay at least seventy-five cents to a dollar above that. So that's that's what I'm looking for from Midwest Assistance because they have all the different information as to. When they look at the trends and projections, they can tell you this is going to work for you for a longer period than if you just set a rate high and wait for it to catch up again like we did in the past. So, if you'd like, I just put it on the next agenda and hopefully have some more information for you. Obviously, we're going to have to act on it next meeting in one way or the other whether we have the information or not. At least we'll get some information out in the paper on the Big Ten as well. So okay. people right. are aware of what's going on. Thank you. All right, 12A Housing Authority Board appointment. It looks like Christy 
Ligger Keller. <coughs> Yeah, appointed to fill? She was appointed to fill an unexpired term just last uh, last spring, I think it was, or late last fall. <clears throat> and she is willing to serve another five year term on the Housing Authority Board. Okay. Yeah, sure. okay. That's a fun board. She's a great person. I would strongly endorse her. So she made me a motion. Yeah. Absolutely. Motion by a pillar to endorse. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. <coughs> I hope she, when she reads that, she doesn't get mad. <laughs> Substance abuse policy update. Uh, I got the information from the new contract for the consortium to do a random drug testing. There was a ruling out of the U.S. Supreme Court that only safety sensitive or commercial driver's license people can be in your pool. You can't test everybody if they're against the Fourth Amendment right to search and seizure. So we will have to amend our drug policy, whether we go with the consortium or not, it doesn't matter because the ruling from the Supreme Court doesn't give a lot of leeway. Is that just for city organizations or is that for my understanding all companies that is, and that is for all companies, companies is really? my understanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have some proposed changes to our policy. Basically it'll just define those safety sensitive We'll take out some of the wording for just the transit <coughs> system because our CDL drivers and public works garbage truck drivers, those play, play where there is imminent danger while they're operating equipment would be in a safety sensitive position. So are you also going to update then position descriptions within the city of Hazen to those, have that statement in there that those says under our this policy position is yeah. or isn't? That's <coughs> the next step. I visited with Pat a little bit. That will be the next step is updating our employee policy yep. to also include those safety sensitive positions and make it part of the job description itself. I guess the only the only nice thing is when we're paying sixty dollars per person to be in the random pool, but sure. less people in there. And that's that's just for for random. Just once, once a person's on, we would. It, does the law still allow then if any potential city employee before they're hired? My understanding is we can still do pre-employment. It's just the random. It's just the random. Okay. We can still do pre-employment reasonable suspicion. <laughs> From my discussions with the League of Cities Attorney, yeah, <coughs> we're still a, we can still contract with global safety to do pre-employment reasonable suspicion all those other tests so long as our supervisors have the training, which is available through workforce safety. So now on the list there it says I guess like licenses like by itself or no? No, it that goes US back Department to the driver's license, commercial or US Department of Transportation licenses, like the bus drivers and okay. DOT stuff. Okay. Yeah. 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 This was part of the list that so uh, for the us, city is just FYI. Well, I will need you to approve if we're going to change the drug and alcohol policy. I will need a motion to go ahead and approve the amendment of the policy and then to enter into the agreement with global safety through the League of Cities for the policy. Second. So moved. Take, take motion. All right. Motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Roll call. Wolf. Aye. Stern. Aye. Pillar. Aye. Vote hour. Aye. Motion carries. <coughs> All right. That takes down the approval of bills. A few more on your desk.
both the new Christmas lights on the show. There we were a couple lady bulbs for Christmas lights. So this basically you might have to replace some bulbs and all some spots that they all be. Then they redid the star on the tower. Oh yeah. Right it's nice. nice. It's a free day. <laughs> <life. laughs> I'm glad it's there because there were several years that it didn't exist up there, so it's, it does look nice. Motion to pay the bills. Motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Roll call. Roll. Aye. Stern. Aye. Taylor. Aye. 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 Motion carried. Meeting adjourned.